yard isn't big enough to fetch with all the bots. <laughs> I think you may be right. What if we took them to the jungle? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we're going to the jungle. I'll just gather up some supplies and we can head out. <laughs> you forgot to cover your mouth. <laughs> aren't supposed to sneeze, and your tail isn't supposed to spin like that. Let's make sure you don't have any loose screws. And I'll scan Botasaur and make sure all the circuits are working right. Nothing out here. Let's check inside your nose panel. Maybe something in there is tickling you. I'm okay. Found the problem. Spotosaur has a computer virus. <laughs> Don't worry, big guy. A computer virus isn't dangerous. It's just like a person catching a cold. And it's easy to fix. <laughs> I can put the cure on a microchip, and we'll be off to the jungle in no time. <laughs> <laughs> it to Bodasaur's chest. And I'll send the fix to the modifier chip and make him better. Awesome! This won't hurt a bit, buddy. <laughs> Whoa! That was one big sneeze. <laughs> Don't worry, Tigerbot. We've got the cure right here. We just need to catch him. Maybe you can help us. Yeah. All right, Tigerbot. Let's Tiger Bull. There's Monosaur. Hang on, big guy. You'll be sneeze free in just a second. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh no, not Tigerbot 2. Her sneezes are blasting her backwards. Uh-oh, Tigerbot's heading toward the ice cream shop. She might crash into it. I'll take the biggest cone you've got. Sure. Liam, look out! Watch out, the ice cream cone! Huh? I get that cone awesome! Liam! I'm okay. I always wondered what it'd be like to be inside an ice cream cone. It's dark. And it smells funny. Let's get this off of Liam. Okay, if I shoot my grappling hook over that street light, we should be able to pull the cone off of Liam. Here you go. Whoa, what did I miss? <laughs> Tigerbot and Botasaur are moving all over the place. It's going to be hard to reach out and put the microchips on them. Reach? That's it! I know what to do. We can put extender arms on Botarilla so we can reach out and not get sneezed on. We need Botarilla and the Mobile Rivet Lab for sure. Time to go mobile! Botarilla, we need you to put these microchips on Botasaur and Tigerbot so we can fix them. But we're gonna make it a little bit easier for you first. <laughs> Time for a quick modification. Ice cream? No thanks. Potterilla. 
Now with super telescoping extender arms. <laughs> Test him out, big guy. Can you put the cone back on top of Sammy's shop? <laughs> Yeah. Awesome sauce with sprinkles on top. Thanks, guys. Now let's get those chips on those bots. Good luck! We're catching up! Hurry! Tigerbot sneezed right on Botterilla. Maybe he didn't get it. No! He got, got it. it. Now we just have to find a way to catch up to the bots. <gasps> Chips on the bots before they sneeze themselves off that cliff. We're not big enough, fast enough, and we can't reach them. Then we need to build something that can do all those things. Let's combine it and design it. We'll start with the mech suit, so we're as big and strong as the bots. And it'll protect us, too. Then we'll add jets so we can go super fast and keep up with the bots. And finally, a chip launcher. So we can hurl the microchips onto the bots. Even from far away. Put it all together and we've got our plan. Ja! 
jungle. So glad you guys are feeling better. <laughs> and fetch! <laughs> I'm not sure the jungle is big enough for all these spots either. <laughs> Journey to the center of Spartan Hills. <laughs> when a robot dog and a robot dinosaur play together. He's okay. Yeah, but his tail came a little loose. <laughs> <laughs> we can fix that up in no time. Come on. Uh, 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 uh. Sorry, Bites. Playtime's going to have to wait a bit while we fix Bodasaur's tail. <laughs> I think Bodasaur is giving you his bone to play with. <laughs> Let's fix that tail. I know. There. Your tail's as good as new. <laughs> All right, big guy. You can go play with bites again if you want. <laughs> <laughs> One big hole. Help. Yeah, who dug it? And where's Bites? <laughs> <gasps> Bites dug the hole! And he's stuck inside it! We have to get him out! <laughs> Great idea, Botasaur! You can super jump us down there! There's just one problem. How can we jump down there if we can't, you know, see down there? Yeah, the hole's really dark. We need some kind of light. Hmm. Oh, I know what to do. Ray, we need you to go on Botasaur's head. And by that, I mean be a headlight. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Perfect, we have a headlight. All right, big guy. Time to super jump! <laughs> wow, this is a really deep hole. Whoa! <laughs> Big hole! Rusty, look! Whoa! It's incredible down here. Wait, did Bites dig all this? No, it looks like these are old Spartan Hill mines. They were made a long time ago. Bites must have accidentally dug into them. <gasps> Listen! <gasps> it's Bites! It sounds like he's in trouble and really far down that tunnel. Don't worry, 
Daddy Bites, we're coming! How can we get to him fast? Hmm... Oh, the tracks go that way. I know what to do. We need some bits on the fix. Wooly, I need you to fly a rocket booster down into the giant hole in the yard. Whirly. All right. I'd recommend everyone hold on. Calculations, it'll take us exactly forever to tunnel our way through. <laughs> if only we had some kind of supersized tunneling device. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Bodasaur, let's combine it and design it. <laughs> with Bodasaur, then add a high-tech drill to his tail, and last but not least, a helmet to keep Bodasaur safe. Put it all together, and we've got our plan. did the tunneling. I'm glad you're okay. But what were you doing down here in the first place? Oh! You were trying to bury Bodasaur's bone. No! Wait! Bodasaur, don't pull it! It could cause... that to happen. Run! Trapped! We 
out! Potasaur, can you tunnel us up? to get the Wonder Drill 2200. Whoa! And Mr. Higgins is selling the only one in town. I saved up the money I need in the save a super bank. Nice piggy bank. It's the most unbreak into a bowl piggy bank ever built because I built it. It's even got a protection mode. It's impossible to open unless you know the code. So what is the code? Uh-oh. I don't remember the code. How can I get my money out? Maybe I can figure out the code with my tablet. Once the app has all four numbers, you can enter them on your keypad. That'll unlock the bank and you can open it. Awesome! It looks like it's gonna take a long time, though. But I need to get the money out before someone else buys the Wonder Drill 2200 from Mr. Higgins. Well, let's take the bits with us. If we don't have the code by the time we get to the store, they can try to break the bank open. Wonder Drill 2200. Wow, that is a really cool drill. Check out the handle, the fins, and the ultra titanium drill bit. <laughs> it's a beauty, isn't it? Sure is. I just need to get the money out of my piggy bank. Any luck figuring out the code? Nope. We don't have any of the four numbers yet. Okay then. Bits, you're up. Good try, Bits. All right, my turn. I think it's working. <laughs> Are solid. What happened? It went into protection mode. <laughs> Catch it quick. Here, little piggy. Oh no! Oh, no! The good news is you did a really, really, really good job of making it hard to break into. Uh -oh. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> we'll be back, Mr. Higgins, before anyone else can buy the Wonder Drill. Time to bolt. Here, little piggy. Here, little piggy. There it is. How are we going to stop it? I know what to do. Gotcha, piggy bank. <laughs> and 
will use the combined power to try to stop the piggy. Uh-oh. Uh now it's got both of us. Bonasaur! Job of making my bank hard to break into. Hmm. Do you have the code yet? Sorry, no. I've only got one number. I need my money so I can buy the wonder drill. But how can you catch a rocket powered piggy bank? <laughs> I've got it! We can get it to come to us. If there's one thing I know about pigs, it's that they love... Mud! Great idea, Ruby! We'll build a mud machine. Let's make something great. Okay, Bodasaur, all done. <laughs> you are now a mudasaur. <laughs> Set our trap. Great job, Bodasaur. Now all we have to do is hide and wait for the piggy to show up. <laughs> Look, the app figured out the second number in the code. Awesome. <gasps> now it's got three numbers. When we have all four, you can type the code into the bank and it will open up. And I can finally get the Wonder Drill. <sighs> There's the piggy. Okay, Bodasaur, now's our chance. Ruby, what's the last number? Almost got it. The last number is five. <gasps> Rusty? It's okay, but we were so close. I could hear my coins jingling around inside of it. Wait, that's it! Your bank is filled with coins. A metal pig filled with metal coins. We can use a magnet to catch it. Yeah, a big magnet would pull it close enough for me to type in the code. Let's combine it and design it. <laughs> We'll combine our cars to move the heavy magnet around. Then we'll add a heavy duty mount. And add the super magnet. Put it all together, and we've got our plan.
towards it. Whoa! I can't enter the code. We need to turn off the magnet. But then the pig will run away. Not if we get inside the recycling yard first and close the gate. Hold on tight. the wonder drill. It's all yours, Rusty. Wonder drill 2200. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to the way it purrs. I must use it right now. I'll tighten this and this and Jack <laughs> and this and this. And that. <laughs> and this. <laughs> Rusty's whale of a problem. It's a perfect beach day. All that's missing is some music. A beach party needs louder music than that. We need something a little more rustified. <laughs> Introducing the Sonic Rivet Shark 9000. <laughs> <laughs> Time to crank up some tunes. Hmm. Kind of hard to dance to this song. It's not coming from the speakers. It kind of sounds like a whale. Come on, let's check it out. <gasps> it is a whale! A baby whale! It swam too close to the beach and got stuck. Is she singing? That's how whales talk to each other. She sounds sad. We have to help her. Don't worry, we'll get you back in the water. <laughs> we should think of a name for you. Hmm. You look like a... Uh, an Ingrid. She likes it. Now, how do we get you off the sand? Oh, I've got it. We'll use the Mobile Rivet Lab's crane to lift her. Let's go mobile! Time to get to work. We've got a whale of a problem to solve. Okay, Whirly, hook it onto Claw and we're ready to go. Yeah, well. oh. One whale going up. Can a whale be lost in the ocean? It says here baby whales always swim with their pods, mm. and they can get lost without them. Mm. What's a pod? It's a group of whale families that swim together. Ingrid must have gotten lost and separated from her whale pod. Let's get into the water and help her find her family. Mm. Oh, look! I see Ingrid's pod on the sonar. But they're swimming farther away. We better get Ingrid and catch up. We don't want to lose them. <gasps> oh, 
I see lots of underwater creatures on the sonar. That's a fish. That's a sawfish. Whoa, it's a fish and a tool. And Ingrid is right over there. Why is she behind that rock? Is she hiding from us? Maybe she's afraid of the rivet shark. She must think it's a real shark. I've got an idea. Ingrid communicates by singing. So maybe music will help her know we're not a shark. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, Ingrid isn't a jazz fan. How about classical? Oh. Bagpipes? Uh. Rock and roll? pretty far away from Ingrid's family. By the time we go all the way around, we'll lose them for sure. Wait, I think I see a shortcut. And we get to go through an underwater cave? Yes, please. In here, Ingrid! This cave is awesome! But it's getting smaller. Look up ahead! Uh-oh! I'm not sure the sub can fit through. Uh, just me. Yeah! And look! There's Ingrid's family! But where's Ingrid? <gasps> we must have caused a cave-in when we bumped into the side of the cave! Ingrid is trapped! Don't worry, Ingrid. The water jet will blast those rocks out of the way. It's not working. The rocks are too big. Let's try to move the rocks with the rivet shark. Three, two, one, push! It's no use. They're too hard. We'll break the sub before we break those rocks. How can we rescue Ingrid? We need to get Ingrid out of the cave. And fast. We need a tool that can cut through boulders, like a giant saw. Or a giant saw fish. Yeah. Sawfish use their noses to cut through things. So we'll turn the sub into... A, a giant, giant sawfish. sawfish! Don't worry, Ingrid. We'll be right back. Let's combine it and design it. We'll start with the shark sub. Then we'll add a laser saw, perfect for cutting through rock. And to power the laser saw, we'll add a turbo tail. Put it all together, and we've got our plan! up the rocks and get you out of there. I'll power up the laser saw. Turbo charge in three, two, one. Time to slice and dice. Where's Ingrid? 
She's hiding again. All that noise must have scared her. Ingrid, it's us. You're free. Huh? Let's get you back to your family. Come on. Huh? Look out! Ingrid, swim under us. Let's get you back to your family. Oh, no! The whale pod isn't on sonar anymore. They're too far away. They were headed that way. Don't worry, Ingrid. We can catch up to them. Follow us! They're back on sonar! I see them! Look! But they're still really far away. We'll turbo ahead. Catch up to your family and bring them back to you. Hey, guys. <gasps> Whoa! They must be scared of the rivet shark, like Ingrid was. Music worked with Ingrid, so let's hope her family likes rock and roll, too. They do not like to rock out. But Ingrid does. Ingrid, sing to the music. Maybe they'll hear you. They're too far away to hear her. I can help with that. Mic drop. Celebrate something this awesome. A beach party! Fire up some tunes, Jack! <laughs> Whoa! Now that is a great song! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Rusty's Raptor Race! Raptor egg hatch. Yeah, let's hop in the rivet shark and go. Wait, where is the rivet shark? Actually, I've been working on something mega incredible to get us to and from Dino Island. Our Brontosaurus Rivet Lab. Here comes a Bronto on the Bronto. Check this out. Time to go mobile. All right. My lab is bad. Now let's go check out the raptor egg. We get to ride in our new brontosaurus lab to Dino Island and see a raptor egg hatch? Yep. I'm so excited! Next up, Dino Island! Whoa! Cool robot dinosaur! I mean... I guess it's okay. Dino Island must be the secret place they're always going to. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, Frankfurt? <laughs> Thanks for the ride, Brownie. My pleasure. Come on, Rusty. The raptor egg is this way. Wow! 
Dino Island! Let's hide our boat and check it out! My tablet shows that the raptor egg should be right over... There! Whoa! It's so colorful! We have to be careful. The mama could return any minute. <gasps> that must be her now. We should go, in case she thinks we're hurting her egg. We can come back later. Huh? Whoa! This must be what they came for! A giant gemstone! Rusty and Ruby must be planning to take it to Sparkton Hills to show it off! But not if we take it first! Yet, let's combine it and Dino design it. We'll start with a sleek, super fast Robo Raptor body. Then we'll add strong arms and legs with clawed feet to make it great at running and jumping. And you'll 
install a modifier chip to make our Roboraptor super speedy and friendly. Put it all together, and we've got our plan. Bronny, we need you. Bronto on the Bronto. Right here! 
just relaxing at the beach. We'll be right down. Are you okay? Just a little dusty, Rusty. Then let's keep exploring the island. Um, that doesn't sound good. Uh, uh, hang on. I'll shake it out. Uh-oh. I think that made it worse. Hmm. Sand in your parts could cause big problems. It might even make you stop working completely. That sounds totally bad. We need to clean the sand out of you. And I know just the place to do it. Oh, the volcanic steam vent. Perfect. It'll be like a steam bath. But the vents only erupt once a day. So we need to get you to the other side of the island. Pronto! Uh... Is it my imagination, or is that really big boulder moving itself? What kind of dinosaur is that? That would be a Triceratops. They're amazingly strong. Yeah, he moved that boulder like it was a little pebble. Uh, Rusty? Oh, yeah. Let's get to those steam vents. Ronnie's getting worse. Yeah, he won't be able to move at all pretty soon. Uh, sorry. This is as fast as I can go. Sand is getting further into my... We just have to get you to those vents before they go off. Which we should have just enough time to do. <gasps> okay. It may take a little longer than we thought. Maybe we can go around it? No rounding for me. <laughs> Too far. Then we'll find a way across it. I know. We'll build you a bridge. We have lots of parts in your storage bin. Let's make something great. One heavy-duty Bronto Bridge, ready for crossing. I can almost feel the steam bath now. We lost some time building the bridge. We need to go even faster now to reach the steam vents before they erupt. I'll see what I can do. Great job! <laughs> All that sand and brawny is making them too heavy. It's gonna break! Phew! Look! Now we have ramps on both sides. We can jump across. I can barely move. How am I gonna jump? Hmm. <gasps> I know! Ramps and rockets! Let's do it! The rockets are ready. Let's fire them up and jump the chasm. Prepare for blast off, Brawny. Three, two, one. The Brawny Express coming through. It's working. was close, but everything's all right now. Never mind. Not all right. Not all right. Not all right. Stopped in time. Or not. Now I'm even sandier. Uh. And the vents are going to erupt soon. 
We have to get Brawny out of here. But how? Sinking deeper here. Don't worry, Brawny. We'll find a way to get you out of that quicksand. We need something super strong to get him out. What's strong enough to move a giant bot out of quicksand? <gasps> I know! The same thing that can move a gigantic boulder. A, a triceratops. triceratops! Let's combine it and dino design it. We'll start with a super strong robo body. Then we'll add mega powerful horns so we can move mega heavy things. And finally, a modifier chip to program him to be a great new Tricera friend. Put it all together, and we've got our plan.
Today, my furry friends. Ranger Anna, have you seen Frankie? No, not today. Now I have. Oh no! Please tell me you didn't push any shoe buttons. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Now he's going even faster! We're coming, Frankie! Good seeing you all! <laughs> he's going right up into the sky! Now what? Instead of trying to catch him, we need something that can pull the shoes off him! Yeah, let's get some bits on the fix. Whirly, we need you. And bring a vacuum. All right. Perfect. Now let's add 
a little more power. Whirly is now the Whirly Vac. Go get him, Whirly Vac! Keep yelling now. Running, flying, and bouncing all at once. We've got to stop him before he crashes. Super-powerful basketball shoes. Yeah, something that can run fast, fly, and bounce. Hmm. <gasps> Botterilla loves to bounce. And he loves basketball. Botterilla, we need you. <laughs> Let's combine it and design it. We'll start with Botterilla. Then add powerful pistons to his feet so he can bounce and run super fast. And finally, turbo rockets for high flying and dunking action. Put it all together and we've got our plan. with my normal shoes.
Basket Pot, now it's your turn to play. <laughs> on my team next time? <laughs> <laughs> Ralph's excited face. 
I'll tell Liam the good news. Liam, we're almost there. With Ralph. Normally, I would say woohoo, but you're too late. I'm on my way to Planet Fun without Ralph, which means Planet No Fun.
We'd bring him to you. Thanks, guys. You're the best. Ralph! Sorry I left you. Do you forgive me? Okay. He forgives me! I thought my vacation was ruined because you weren't here. But thanks to Rusty and Ruby, we're going to have so much fun at Planet Fun! I've always wanted to go there. It looks so, well, fun. It sure does. Since you're already here, why don't you kind of plan it fun with me and Ralph? Would that be okay, Mom and Dad? Of course. We'd love to have Rusty and Ruby. Yes! What do you say? I say... I'm gonna have to call my mom and tell her I'll be late for dinner, cause... We're, we're going, going to plan it! Rusty's Triceratops Trouble. And done. The hulls it all is ready for action. Now you can haul all of your heavy equipment to any place on the island, even the hardest to reach dig sites. <laughs> Let me try. Sure thing. It goes up, it goes down. I can shake it all around. That is pretty cool. Is that your stomach, Ozzy? Uh-uh. Not me this time. It came from over there. Triceratops! Triceratops love to eat vegetables. And fruit. Check out the little baby. Oh, so cute. Oh. But we shouldn't get close. If wild animals get too used to people, they'll sometimes want to hang out with us instead of their herd. And whatever you do, never feed them. They won't leave your side if you do. Hey, little guy. You look hungry. How about a snack? I hear you like fruit. Moves. Well, see you around, my three horn friend. Oh, I get it. You want to be pals, and you want a treat. I'm Ozzy. It's nice to meet you. Um, hmm. T tops. Yes, that's what I'll call you. T tops. We should get back. Coming, Ozzy? Well, it's been a blast, T-Tops. See you around the old island. Ready to give the new Halls It All a try? Let's do it! <gasps> T-Tops is just looking for a treat. T-Tops? Oh, brother, you fed the Triceratops, didn't you? Absolutely, sure did. Wait, is that a problem? He'll never leave if he thinks he can get treats from us. Whoa! Whoa! So whatever you do, don't feed him any more fruit. Hey, guys! Look what I found! Fruit! No! <laughs> Get treats here. Ooh, he likes the lights. Now's our chance to get him out of here. T Tops is way too heavy. He's not going anywhere unless he wants to. 
Right, which means we could lead him out with something he likes. Treats! No! I have another idea. Duck, how would you like to help us get Ozzy's friend back to his herd? I'd love to help the little big guy. Time to wing it! We'll have you back to your dino peeps in no time, T-Tots. Looks like they're over this way. <laughs> Yo! Obro to T Tops! Your herd is this away! He sees a giant tree full of yummy treats. There's a huge pool of mud in his way. We've got to hurry! I know my dino pal. He's my bestie from another nesty. He is not stopping. If we can't keep T-Tops from the mud, what if we keep the mud from T-Tops? Great idea. We'll build a ramp to go over it. Let's make something great. Whew, just in time. Look out! <laughs> Close. Look how happy he is! For now, but we still need to get him back to his dino peeps. He's super heavy. How can we get him to the other side of the island? With something we made to transport super heavy things. The Halls It All! <laughs> But how do we get him onto that? By giving him what he loves almost as much as treats. A dance party! Dancing. We have to calm him down before. Oh no! It's going the wrong way, and it's headed right for Dino Island Chasm. with it. I'm trying to regain control of the halls at all, but it's not working. How do we stop something we built to be unstoppable? Whoa! Uh, is it my imagination, or did I just see a dancing triceratops running towards a chasm on a dance floor? Pretty much. That's my T-tops. We have to save him. I'm ready to lend a wing. I could fly and catch up to him, but, but even I'm not strong enough to lift him. Not yet, but we can do something about that. Let's combine it and dino design it. We'll start with Dak. Then we'll add double rotors to give Dak extra lifting power. And finally, crane arms with powerful grippers, so Dak can lift the halls at all and carry T-Tops back to his herd. Put it all together, and we've got our plan. Ronnie, we need you. Pronto pronto.
Fire 5000. Oh, look at me. I like it. Come on, we have a Triceratops to save. Get our boy home safely! There he is! We only have a few seconds before he goes over. putting it to good use. Whoa, it's the Obros, yo! Obros, Obros, let's go! That's what I call a dance party. Rusty's pendant problem. Last stop, Ozzy's birthday party. Thanks for the lift, Velocity. That was fast. That was fast, even for you. Told you I'd have you here in no time. <gasps> Woo! Look at the pretty decorations. Hey, Rusty, Ruby, Velocity. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Ozzy. Thanks for coming to my party. Here are your rockin' party hats. You're the fifth, sixth, and seventh to arrive. Spurs, Giggles, and Sir Trixalot got here first. And Oliver, well, he was already here. <laughs> Oliver said he got me an extra awesome, super special birthday gift. I wonder what it is. Do you know what it is? No, nope. don't tell me. I can wait. No, I can't wait! Ooh, more party guests arriving. <laughs> so, did you finish making the cool pendant for Ozzy's birthday gift? Yep, made him one just like mine. It's made from a super rare metal found near the volcano. Awesome! I know, right? But I put Ozzy's favorite rock on his. The first one he ever kept. That way, he can wear it around his neck and take it with him everywhere he goes. Or at least he could if I hadn't lost it! <gasps> oh no! What? It was right here in my pocket, now it's gone! Don't worry, we'll help you find it. Where did you have it last? Hmm, well, it was still in my pocket when I was studying raptors earlier, but it was gone when I got back. It must have fallen out in the jungle. We just have to find it! Find what? <gasps> oh, you mean my gift? Aha! Uh -huh. You hid it for me to find. Clever and fun! <laughs> oh, not here. <gasps> We're under here. Hey, Velocity, want to help me look? Uh, yeah, sure. I'd love to. We have one more thing to do for your party, Ozzy. Be right back. We'll find your birthday gift. We'll, uh, leave no stone unturned. Hi, Brony. I'll just be a second. <laughs> Tickles. Found it. This rustified metal detector will help us find Oliver's pendant in the jungle. Time to bolt. This is where I was the last time I had the pendant. Great. Try to remember what you were doing at that time. I remember exactly what I was doing. First, I was over here watching that raptor. Then I ran here to watch that one. But he was like, Rah! 
And she was like, Rah! So I was like, ah! And that's when I fell. That's gotta be when the pendant fell out of your pocket. Time for some pendant detecting. I'm getting something. This way. There. Ozzy's birthday gift. You found it! <laughs> hey, that's not yours. And whoa, raptors are so super fast. But I know someone who's even faster. Velocity, we need you. Speed! Hi, guys. How's the pendant search going? Not so good. We just lost Ozzy's gift again. The raptor took it. The best way to catch up to a raptor is with a robot raptor. Let's dino go, go, go! Oliver sure does know how to hide a gift. It's gotta be here somewhere. Aha! It must be... Here! Nope. Not here. that pendant back. So, or Ozzy will be crushed. We're going to get it back with your help. My help? Yay! Steady, Steggy. We're almost there. I'm pretty sure I can reach it with my tail. <gasps> it's swing time. Nope, I don't got it. How am I gonna tell Ozzy that I lost his favorite rock forever? You're not, because we're going to get it back. Somehow. We need to catch up to that pterodactyl before Ozzy's favorite rock is gone forever. We need something super fast. Oh, please let me help. I'm super sonic fast. That would be totally awesome. Oh, but you can't fly. Yet, let's combine it and dino design it. We'll start with velocity. Then we'll give her propellers so she can fly like a drone. And finally, extendable hands so she can grab the pendant. Put it all together and we've got our plan. Ronnie, we need you. Bronco on the Bronco.
Acid Chopper 9000. Let's go get that pendant back. Ready to go, One of you must know where Oliver hid my birthday gift. Ah, the stony face silent treatment. Oh, it's just Rusty Ruby and a flying velocity chasing a pterodactyl. Wait, what? We'll have to get close enough to grab the pendant with your extendable hands. Hold on, we're going down. I'm trying to walk onto the pendant, but the pterodactyl's moving around too much. in my socks, I looked here, I looked there, I looked everywhere! Where in Dino Island did you hide my gift? Well, uh, see, the thing is... I kind of... I mean, it's right here! Happy birthday to the best bro an O-bro could have! Is this... It's my favorite rock! Thanks, Oliver! This birthday rocks! Happy birthday, Ozzy! Thanks, everyone! Now, what do you say we get this party started? Rusty's Baseball Bot! Awesome. Thanks for helping us practice, Elephant Bot. Now we're ready for the Sparked and Sparks baseball game this afternoon. Ugh. Nice hit. Ugh. Could you throw him higher, my stinkalicious friend? It's baseball, not golf. <laughs> Woohoo! Rusty and Ruby? What are those two so excited about? Huh? <laughs> yeah! Rusty's getting so good, he's gonna make me look bad at the game. Unless I make my own auto pitcher to help me with batting practice. The pitch blaster is gonna work wonders for my game. And I'm using extra big baseballs, so they'll be impossible to miss. Check it out. Ugh. Sun was in my eyes. Whoa! Did you see where they went? Well, I'll be ready when they come down. Try pitching me a low ball, elephant bot. Huh? That's not one of our baseballs. It's huge. Look out! They're coming down all over town. Someone could get hurt. There's no way we can catch them all. But I know who can. Let's get some fits on the fix. Whirly, we need your awesome flying skills. And bring a glove, a really big one. Can you catch the giant baseballs before they land? Yep. 
for sure. Oh! Whoa-oh! Not what I planned! Better shut it off! Ah! Run, Frankfurt! Run! Not good! Hello! Nice job, Whirly! <laughs> but where did those big baseballs come from? Thanks, Rusty. I hope that's the last of them. Nope, there's a whole bunch heading downtown. They could sweep away everybody in Sparkton Hills. Not if we stop them first. But we'll need something to scoop them up. Let's make something great. This should do it. Time to bolt. Control the whole time. Hmm. Wonder where all these balls came from. Weird. Well, see ya. There's those and more scattered around town. Let's go scoop them up. Frankie, the baseballs came from your machine? Just getting a little practice in before the game, thanks to my pitch blaster. Whoa. I really wouldn't do that. Okay, okay, I'll turn it off. Whoa. Oh no! Did not see that coming. We've got to stop Frankie's pitching machine. Sparkton Hills, but how do we stop a rampaging pitch blaster? With someone who's really good at baseball. I'm not quite there yet. I know someone who's great at baseball. Elephant, Elephant Bot! Elephant Bot, we need you. <laughs> Wanna help us stop Frankie's pitching machine from wrecking the town? <laughs> Then let's combine it and design it. We'll start with Elephant Bot. Then we'll add a baseball bat trunk so we can hit crazy flying baseballs. And an extendable arm with a baseball glove so he can catch. Put it all together and we've got our plan. Modified. Customized. Rustified. 
Okay, okay, I'll help. Now let's play ball! Okay, batter up! <laughs> I've got this! I mean, you've got this. It's gonna be all Mega Myths on deck. I'm on Team Frankie. Hit one! Caught one! Missed one! <gasps> Elephant butt, look out! Looks like a home run to me. Awesome! We make a great team. We need to figure out a way to shut down the pitch blaster without getting too close. Whoa! Elephant bot, try to hit the off switch with a baseball. It's going to land right on our rivet lab. It could smash the computer to bits. But we're not going to let that happen, are we, Elephant Bot? <laughs> Time to bolt. I see it. Time for a flying leap. Elephant bot. Woohoo! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> You've had lots of practice now, Frankie. You've got this. Without my coach, I guess I should have asked for your help instead of making my pitch blaster. <laughs> huh? Whoa! <laughs> Rusty's giant toy trouble! <laughs> Bodasaur, catch! <laughs> Sassafras, we're on an adventure, and there's so much to explore. Definitely. Sounds fun. Ooh, Emily, let's pretend Ralph and Sassafras are giants. Yeah. Giant toys in the city. Stump, stump, stump. Sassafras loves stacking cars and hopping over them. Boy. Now our giant toys are running through an obstacle course. All right, Ralph. Go, Sassafras. Giant mountain. I bet Ralph can't tag Sassafras. <laughs> bet he can. <laughs> she can jump really far. Boing! Super Ralph goes into turbo flying mode. Whoosh! Tag! Ralph says, gotcha! Ralph wins. Sassafras had so much fun playing. She wants a big hug. Wow! Awesome throw, Bodasaur! <laughs> that was so fun! Right? I wish our toys were actually really big and could move, like Bodasaur. Ooh, new game! Let's play Rusty and Ruby. Great idea! Let's
Let's fake it and make it. <laughs> <laughs> Then we'll use one of Ruby's modifier chips to make them move. And the shrink and grow ray to make them giant. Put it all together and it's gonna be fun! something to do with that. Whoa! <laughs> We'd better find out what's going on. Come on, Vodasaur! <laughs> That's the second biggest hedgehog I've ever seen! Wow! Really high. 
How do we stop a huge hedgehog that just wants to play and play? Ruby, that's it! Sassafras is just playing their game from earlier. First, she stacked cars and hopped over them. Then she ran through the obstacle course. And now she's racing up the mountain. You're right! <gasps> I know the perfect way to end the game. We need Ralph to tag her. Great thinking, but not just any Ralph. Giant Super Ralph. Liam, we know how to help, but we need to borrow Ralph for a build. Ralph gets to be part of a Super Rusty and Ruby build? Awesome! Catch! We promise we and Ralph will save you. All right, Ruby, let's combine it and design it. We'll start with Ralph and make him really big. Then we'll add some wings and rockets so he can fly fast. And really long, stretchy arms to tag Sassafras. Put it all together and we've got our plan. <laughs> Turn your giant toys to normal size. Ralph! Sassafras! Thanks for saving us. It was a lot of fun having a giant, moving Sassafras toy. But I think she's perfect, just the way she is. Happy to help. Hey, wanna play tag? 